Hey everybody, welcome aboard. Captain Mike here. Today I'm going to run a Southwest Airlines flight, flight number 2909, uh, with non-stop service from Phoenix, Arizona to uh, San Diego. And I'm trying a few things different today. I hope it all works out. I'm asking a lot of a couple of computers here. Um, directly behind me you'll see the load data sheet for today's flight. As I run through that and program the flight management computer, you're going to be able to follow along and that's that dark screen that's in the center. Once the programming is done, then I'll remove that screen and you'll be able to see the throttle quad and the, uh, the pedestal itself. To the right of that, I'm also trying something new. While I'm in here setting up the flight, you'll be able to keep an eye on the uh, exterior of the aircraft as you watch the uh, crew do their thing and get the luggage and whatnot, everything all loaded up. And then once that's done, I'll get you a front view outside the aircraft. And then once we're in the air, I'll get you a moving map display for those that don't understand the uh, Navigraph charts. All right, everybody, let's get going, and uh, I hope this all works out. DC battery selected to bat. DC battery switch on guarded. Standby power auto guarded. Alternate flaps off guarded. Fuel pump switches are off. Wipers are set to park. Hydraulic pumps electric two and one are off. Landing gear is down. We've got three green and three green on the aft overhead. Weather radar to test. Master caution reset. Fault in up. And overheat fire. is available and AC selected the ground power and we got juice and let's get set up for unconditioned air and galley power on IRS selectors to nav emergency exit lights are armed temperature's fine in the back Let's enter our present position. And we're in Phoenix. Parking brake is set. Flaps are up. They're showing up and up on the aft overhead, and let's get the position lights on. And that should take care of the originator flight. So let's get that going now. on. Leading edge devices. Test. Service interphone is off. Reverses are extinguished. Easy switches are on guarded. Crew oxygen is 13,000. Passenger oxygen is normal guarded. Flight recorder. Let's test that. And mock speed 1 and 2. A little too early for storm warning. We'll come back to that. I've got three green on the landing gear. PSEU is out. Oxygen flow. And lights test. Spoilers A and B are on guard and your damp is coming on. VHF nav is normal, IRS is normal, FMC is normal, source selector is auto for the displays, and the control panel set to normal. If 
Fuel tip is fine. Cross feed check. Fuel pumps are off. ACDC panel is good. Equipment cooling is normal. Emergency exit lights are on. No smoke and seat belt sign is on. Window heat. Hey, let's run that test. TAT test. That light should go out. Wing any ice and engine any ice are off. Hydraulic pumps, electric tool and one are off. Let's get some doors open here so they can start boarding, shall we? Okay, test, test, test on the recorder. And no erroneous numbers on the pressurization panel. Temperature is fine. And let's clear that. AC overheat. Very good. That is set. Today's flight is 32,000. Okay, that is set. should follow along here. So we're in Phoenix and we're going to be heading to San Diego. Flight number is 2909. And let's take a look at the route here real quick. So we've got seven left. Firebird, Mohawk, and on the back end, to San Diego, we've got 27, lucky one from Hogs. Let's take a look at that. And we can actually check that. stuff without screwing up any of my windows. And it's not easy. spot to get it where I need it. So you're looking at what I'm looking at. Okay, let's take a look at... The departure here. Firebird 1. If we look at our CDU, we have FUDIP as card, uh, UC 
massive and at massive we need to be at 220 knots and above 7,000 after that we have Oakley Oakley we're out to Firebird Firebird to Judith and then Judith to Mohawk and that's the end of the Sid and on the back end up right here so we'll grab that put it into that open space and from no hawk we're going to hogs manor cobla karma sophie campo Helix Jack Aztec Jeeves and then Lucky and if we have a look at our sheet let me bring up the load data sheet here we'll go through our flight plan And we'll match it up. If you tap as card, use the massive. It should be Oakley Firebird, Judith Mohawk, Hogs. Manriff Cobal. Karma, Sophie 2, Compo. Here's Helix, Jack, Aztec, Jeeves, Lucky, and, and we're on our way in from Lindy. So, that is looking pretty good. So let's get our weight in here. So our block fuel for this flight is 118.89. And our payload, well, zero fuel weight is 125.5. And that will distribute everything for me. So our zero fuel weight is 125.5, which is what we have on our load data sheet. Our reserve for this flight is going to be, final reserve is 2.3. Our course index is 18, and we have 320 on the flight level. Our cruise winds, so let's go take a look at that. So here we have top of climb at Firebird, 357 at 20. So that's it, and that is good. We're not going to derate. So we have our CG at 25, one flaps five, 144, and three two zeros already up in there. Okay, that's all looking good. That's in. That is in. And let's get our runway winds. If I remember correctly, there was none. It was just zero at zero. Yeah, zero at zero. So we don't have anything here. Let's get this in. San Diego 
30.05 and the average ICER is 10 we'll get that in and then we'll go down and get our descent info in here So at 20,000, it's 331 at 7. At 15,000, it's 305 at 6. And at 10,000, it's 312 at 5. Okay. And we'll have another look at that real quick. Make sure we don't have any discounts or anything. I can see them. And let's go back to Phoenix. Let's get some frequencies in here. Let's see if this is on.
just about ready for push there. So. set you're set you're set you guys are set I'm gonna be um, and yeah give me that terrain position data airport station I'm on the master Good, MCP is good, nose wheel steering is normal, got it. Let's check these displays. Okay. And auto flight. Okay, primary flight display, I've got uh, artificial horizon is level, ground speed of 0, 45 on the speed tape, V1 of 132, I've got 144. Okay, and I've got 32 local pressure is in and I've got a heading of 078 I've got terrain set up here and one and speed reference is set to auto reset the fuel flow auto brake is set to reject the takeoff that is down we are good here bottles Good. Oh, yeah, see, that should come on. If I press it, too, if I hold this too long, see, this is right, right here. When I press it like that, if I hold it, I get this, which I shouldn't get. I don't know why it does that. That's basically the only thing I found so far. And you're going to be TA and standby. And let's get that test done. Let's get this APU up and running. No fuel in the center tank. And we should be ready for that test. Very good. And window heat test should be done. Ah, I 
did it again. I didn't wait for my APU. I don't know why it kills my power like that. It shouldn't. Let's go, and yeah, you know what, come on, you're up, there you go. Let's confirm we're on APU power, and we'll give that a minute, and then we'll go on APU bleed. I always forget, as soon as I select the TPX tug, it kills my power even before I even ask to get out of here. I gotta make a mental note not to touch that button. Alright, so that's all set. We're ready to go. We're just getting ready. The doors are all buttoned up. I do believe... Oh, I gotta have to reset that now. Okay. I do believe we are ready to get on out of here. Uh, I'm gonna bring up my standby gauges because I forgot to bring them up. We'll be right back and we will be on our way. And that is just about a minute. Let's just make sure we're disconnected from ground before I do anything. Okay, the chocks have been removed and everything else is out. Alright, we're ready for pushback. I'm just going to bring up those gauges and I will be right back. Alright, let's go. set my MCP from that uh, power transfer fail
Set to auto and flight controls are free and clear. And we are going to seven left, so we've got a right and a right coming up. Now, for this longevity test today. This computer has been on for 9 hours and 54 minutes right now before me running this flight. I want to see if it's going to crash or if I'm going to have any issues. Test doesn't get any better than this. I also want to check the auto flight system on this right turn while this U-turn basically coming up. I want to see if that jump in the aileron's gone. I'm hoping that it is. If it is, these edits feel pretty good. I'll put together a, uh, a little uh, text booklet there explaining all the changes. And these are not mine. These are pretty much from Alex. I'm using a few things on my own that are a little different from... Uh, sensitivity settings but that's pretty much it now everything else is looking pretty good I'm hoping this new display setup is going to work out but what you're looking at there on the right hand side is basically pre-recorded everything I put together so, if I'm going to run a flight from American, I'm going to have to set up that for the same thing. Same thing for any other airline that I want to use. <coughs> MS-2020 doesn't allow for me to do that on the fly. That's just not possible. And I still have that experimental third monitor in the Senator here. And it's running pretty smooth. Today's flight's less than 300 miles. 291 miles to San Diego. Yeah, see, I can still see part of the screen that I was standing at for the past couple of hours at the gate. So these monitors are getting a little tired. Gonna need replacement soon. I saw a couple of 98 inch, but my wife has to come in here and tell me we hit the lottery for me to buy those. 86 inch, I think I can get three 86 inches TVs that are pretty decent with HDR.
And these monitors are only 60 hertz, so the new 86 inch, if I get the three of those, will be 120s. We should have a decent view on the way out. up just a touch I think that one looks good this one might be a little low but not now and I said that we had the firebird one correct Set air speeds active. Check throttle hold. A little bit of flicker going on there. Gear up. Let's see how PMDG handles this turn.
See how smooth this turn is here. Whoa. Oh, okay. I thought I just lost a flight deck there. So right now she's holding 220 knots. Beautifully done. She's a little bit right there. But it's not as bad as it was. But there's still some there though. That's a great view. That's 10. We are looking good. And I'll switch over. Beautifully done. And we need to be above 7,000. We're, we're hitting 13 right now. Helix, let's take a look at what that's all about. And that should be on the arrival chart. Let's have a look at that real quick. It's more than likely a uh, speed issue would need to be. Helix at 270. Okay. See if that gets rid of it. And we can come on back now. Yeah, it looks like it still has some of that abruptness in the turns. Should be just about in range now. So we have 268 miles to uh, San Diego, another 53 miles at top of climb. Pretty smooth, so we'll let them run around. Peekaboo with the clouds look pretty cool. That's 18. And 
Ultimate is to standard pressure and monitor, monitor, monitor. That's good. That's good. Oh, see the left engine today. We got the vibrations on the left side today. Oil quantity is good. Oil temperature is fine. Oil pressure is beautiful. And at Firebird, we should have 8-9 on the fuel. We're at 9-6 right now. Looking pretty good on the way out. And we'll be cruising at uh, 32,000 feet today. Won't be up here very long, though. Relatively short flight. I believe it takes me longer to set all this stuff up than it does for me to run these flights. And you know what? You don't need that front view anymore. Because you're just looking at blue skies. So, let's see if I can do this. Give you a little moving map display there. Hopefully that's working. With the limitations of MS 2020, I'm amazed that I'm able to get this much out of it. Two hundred fifty miles ago. at the fuel, right? We're at 9.2 right now, so we're looking pretty good. Another one right out of the ballpark for PMDG. I'll tell you, if they get that aileron issue worked out, or well, lateral nav, I think this is going to be a, a keeper, big time. Those edits, those edits are working real nice. I think uh, what I'll do is after this flight, uh, I'll put together all those edits into a little text file of the changes that you have to make. For those of you that want to venture out, give it a shot. Cloud cover is just enough where it looks pretty cool. You can still see the ground and all the shadow markings that go along with the clouds. It looks pretty cool. Right on the money on the fuel. Ah, oh, beautiful. <coughs> See, they need, need to tame that abruptness right there. You get that worked out. It's only thing I see that's really an issue. 
El Navi Nav. So we got 227 to go, 13 miles at top of climb. And she hit this one right out of the ballpark. Just about coming up on cruise. And it's been a beautiful ride. What a cool view. puts us a cruise. We've got 93 miles to top of descent and 212 to go. Oh, well, not going to be much to see up here, so I'll catch you on the back end, everybody. And that's 26 minutes from the gate, 15 minutes from entering the runway. Everybody, welcome on the back end. We're just getting ready to start our descent into San Diego. back in their seats yeah it still has that abruptness in their turns it'd be nice to get that worked out and that's 38 minutes from the gate 27 minutes from the runway and we're just about ready to start on down we've got 123 miles to go Cruise has been pretty much uneventful. Beautiful ride, just like this the whole way. And we're on our way down. real soon and how about I give you the front view again how about that on the way in should be just about in range Don't think they're in range. 
range yet. We need to be 24 and 26 at Sophie. Right now we're at 27 and change. On our way down, so we should be good. So if these views work out, and if you like that, on the right-hand side while I'm setting up the flight deck, I'll get them set up for some of the other airlines as well. 250. So we're at 25.8 right now. We need to be between 26 and 24, so beautifully done. And if you would comma, 7373, right on the money. And we're already set up here. I've got the decision height in, land altitude is done. We're looking pretty good. Way ahead of the uh, the approach. that beat it by 40 feet <laughs> 48 and we're under 100 miles now we got 86 miles to go and the fuel is right on the money the view has been spectacular and I hope all this added stuff worked out today well tonight it's actually early early late uh, Saturday well actually Sunday morning it's 2 a.m. Saturday morning by the time I put this all together it maybe it make it may make uh, Saturday 10 a.m. Uh, release we'll see I still have to put it all together and edit it, it takes a little bit of doing But my breathing's been acting up, so I did another treatment, so I'm not going to bed for a little while, that's for sure. That stuff keeps me up. 45 minutes from the gate. Under 80 miles to go. And we're good all the way down to 9, or 19, that is. Right now we're 21.5, so we're looking good. And we can continue.
Get you set up. And that's already set up. You're set. They're set. You're set. We're at 19.5 right now. We need to be at uh, above 19, so we're looking pretty good. Seven two on the fuel, right on the money. Should be in range. Based on what I'm seeing here, it looks like those screens are looking pretty good. And local pressure, we're at 18 now. What do we have here? <coughs> Bleed air panel packs are set to auto. Pressurization panel land altitude is set. Passenger signs are on. Auto brake selector is set. Flight instruments and radios are set. Altimeter is set for local Q&H. Recall. And landing data VREF minimum. So let's get that in there right now. 142 on the way in, huh? We're good down to 10. So this flight deck with MS-2020 has been running 10 hours and 39 minutes right now. So if there's a memory leak in here somewhere, this setup isn't seeing it, that's for sure. And that's basically because I was doing work and this was just happened to be running. I didn't bother to turn it off. So this had a long run today. And I only got one flight out of the deal. This one. But I did get a lot of background stuff there done. Which looks like it's going to work. So we need to be between 12 and 15 at Helix. We're at 14.7 right now on the way in. Or on the way down. So we're looking good. And we're looking at 52 miles to go. And that's 50 minutes from the gate. Another amazing ride. Courtesy of PMDG and MS-2020. And Device Interface Manager. If it wasn't for Niles, none of this would be working. So, kudos. As well as Flight Deck Solutions, because if I didn't have this hardware to begin with, <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting in this. Amazing piece of product. No doubt about it. It's got over eight years in use, and it's still going strong. Stuff looks brand new. You wouldn't think it was eight years old. So we need to be above 12. We're at 13.2 right now. We're passing Helix, so... 
looking good and we can continue fuel is right on the money don't think fuel is going to be an issue the rest of the way It's a great view out there, window. And we'll shut down the deck completely on the back end. It's 2.07 a.m. here, early Sunday morning, so it's going to be the only ride I'm getting in. <laughs> but it was a good one. All right, now we're slowing to 250 knots. And we're coming up on 10,000 feet here. Gonna want a little drag, yeah. You're gonna want a little drag. And we're coming up on 10. Area light center start selectors and EFIS panel set terrain. I'm on terrain. Old message. And she's starting to creep up though. Yeah, I'm on it. I'm on it. So we're 8,900 right now. We need to be above 8. So it's been a great ride. Beautifully done. Now, need a little bit of speed break here, but... Only real issue was on the turns. And that puts us 28 miles out. Need to be above 61. We're at 73 and change for Jeeves. So, very good. Lucky is six and Lindy is five at 
Time to slow down. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. We're good down to... What are we holding at here? 25. Still not making it up, my bird. My bird. I mean, that throttle as well. My bird. Slow me down, baby. I'm good, actually, to 10. straight on out. So that's it, that's it. So let's go to 30. And that's already set. So we've got lights, engine start select is auto brake, landing gear, speed brake, flaps, and they have been notified. An hour from the gate, 49 minutes from the runway.
San Diego. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed that ride. I did. I had a blast. That was pretty cool. And I believe all that stuff that I have set up over there actually worked. Um, so that's that's even better. All right, so the chocks are in position. And ground power is available. And unconditioned air. Yeah. You are off. Electrical power, APU or ground, we're on ground. And uh, bleed panel, we're on unconditioned air. Yeah, fuel levers are set to cut off. INT collision light is off. Passenger signs are off. Fuel pump switches are off. Electrical panel check set. Galley power is off. Window heat switches are off. Hydraulic pump switches are off. Exterior lights is needed. We have position lights. Flight direct switches are off. Chocks in position, brakes off. We're going to shut down completely, so we'll go from cold and dark to securing on the back end. IRS select is uh, off. 
emergency exit light switch is off bleed air panel we're going to set that off, off open that is set yeah engine start selector to both apu or ground power disconnect will disconnect ground power and we have acdc selectors to stand by and battery switch to off all right everybody well i hope you enjoyed that ride that's cold and dark uh, on the front end to securing the aircraft on the back end. And this really was a great ride. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, everybody. Take care. I'll catch you on my next run.